Yo, what is going on, homies? It's your boy Stumped back for another OPTC video. And in today's video, Grand Party is in the game. The tab is there. Some characters have some leader abilities, some burst abilities. And we're going to take a look at Grand Party before it actually gets released into the game. And we're going to start talking about it. Let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below. If you have any questions, make sure to slap them down there as well. Obviously, we don't have all the information right now. We don't have all the answers. We don't exactly know how it operates. But we're going to have a bit of a fiddle with the tab and stuff like that. If you guys enjoy this type of video, build the like button for me. If you're new to the channel, hit the big red subscribe button. I do apologize. It's quite late here, and um, I am recording this, obviously, after the maintenance. So if I do jumble or slow my words or anything like that, or I give mis a misinformation, like, please let me know in the comment section below, and I do apologize in advance. But let's take a look at some Grand Party. All right, so here we are over at the Grand Party Pirate Rumble tab. If you just click on Adventure, it's just right down there in the bottom right-hand corner. And then it actually takes you to this particular tab. Now, it looks very similar to the Pirate Rumble tab. Um, you have the rule details. You have your rewards in the bottom left. Your Grand Party match, which obviously they're preparing because the uh, season isn't out yet. However, we can click this setup button right here. Now, this setup button takes you to your eight teams. Again, very similar to or very reminiscent of what Pirate Rumble actually is. And you guys can actually set up your teams. You can move teams around like this. With these little buttons here and the idea of grand party is you actually take on three teams um and then whoever wins two out of three actually gets the dub however you do have a leader skill up here so you can actually edit your leader and you can select any character that you have on a particular team to be your leader for all three teams from what it seems here is the leader will actually be the leader for all three of the teams. And each of these characters have a different leader skill. Um, we'll break down what the characters do in their leader skills in a second. Not all characters have leader skills. Not all characters have burst skills. Only the Super Sugos and then Kaido and um, Luffy and Law, interesting enough, um, have leader skills as well as burst skills. And like I said, we'll break them down in the back half of this video as well. But pretty interesting stuff here. You guys can um, auto edit your, your teams or you can actually go here and you can just change your teams. And that way you can actually just start building. So if we want to build our stereotypical Psy team, we could easily do that with our regular culprit. So you could go like Odin. Um, it's already in use. So like you can't actually... The thing is too, you can't actually cross your characters across the, your teams. So like you have to be very mindful of when you are building teams. Because um, you can't use like Odin in every single team, for example. So... I'm going to quickly build out some teams. Ready, set. All right. So I quickly whipped up this. And um, now this is just like a rough sort of me like building something at 11.43 at night. So I built three teams. One of them's a dex team. Very, very strong. One of them's a psi team. Very, very strong. And the other team is a fighter strength uh, dex psi based team. Now, the reason I've sort of kept it around dex and psi is because once we start breaking down like leader abilities... This particular Luffy, as our leader, he actually boosts Dex and Psy characters as well as fighters. So that's why I've made him my leader. Um, but like I said, you guys will see that in a second once we actually start breaking down the leader skills. But ideally, you really want a leader that's going to buff pretty much as many characters as you possibly can fill out in your main lineup. So fighters, Dex, Psy, that's like the main thing that I was going for here. And that's the main thing that I was like putting together. Now, like I said, this is just a rough draft. This is not the be all end all. Uh, hopefully, you guys will be able to put together some teams. But remember, you can't cross-contaminate your teams, right? Like, you can't use, like, Sober Mask as a bench unit on all of your teams or Smoker. Like, it's, it's just not going to work. So, that's kind of what the tab looks like. Um, pretty interesting stuff. I'll be pretty interested to see how it actually goes once we actually start putting together some teams. But let's take a look at once the actual fight starts to, like, happen. So let's have a look at some of the new characters that got some buffs. Let's have a look at their leader skills. Let's have a look at their arm um, burst skills. So over in the notice tab, you can actually head over to... All right, so over in the notice tab, you can actually head over to Pirate Rumble Character Stats Improved. You click on this button here. It basically explains the updated characters that have new Rumble stats and have Grand Party stats as well. So as you can see here, it's basically every Super Sugo as well as the Waifus who are a special Sugo. And then we have Kaido and Luffy and Law. Now, really interesting that Luffy and Law and Kaido are here. Literally everyone else is a Super Sugo besides Waifus who are a special Sugo, which is like rarer than a Super Sugo. So very, very interesting stuff. 
It says here that character updates for Pirate Rumble after version 12.2 maintenance. Certain characters will have a new Grand Party abilities added, being a GP Leader skill and a GP Burst. So Grand Party Leader, Grand Party Burst. Other Pirate Rumble abilities have not been changed. The updated characters are as followed, and check the new abilities that go to the Pirate Rumble stats and tap on the GP stats. So we have 6 plus Uta Top Musica. We have the Super Sugo Fest Snake Man. We have my boy Super Sugo Shanks. We have Uta. We have Super Tandem Luffy, Super Tandem Kaido, Ace Yamato, the Waifu... Uh, final tap unit. We have the Straw Hat Crew V2. We have Whitebeard and Roger. V2 Odin 6 plus, Yamato 6 star, and Yamato 6 plus. Then we have the Onigashima Trio in Luffy, Law, and Kid. We have Roger. And then, as I mentioned, we have Kaido and Luffy and Law. So the first character we have here is Top Musica. If you go to Rumble Stats up here, you can actually click on GP Stats. And they basically just have two, two, two stats here. So not too uh, difficult to see. So GP Burst. Now, I'm not sure how you activate this burst. Uh, it is actually apparently something that you can physically activate, and it's kind of like a special. So, when you use Rumble Special 10 times, you can use the GP Burst, and at level 5, you can use it once, targets 2 enemies for 4,000 damage, up to 3 times. Her leader skill boosts Psy and Int characters' critical percent and speed up by level 3, so cooldown speed up level 2, and then Driven Class teammates attack HP level six and defense up level three so if you guys were building out some teams and you were using top music as your captain or your leader you really want to build sci and int based teams and then you would also build like put as many driven characters on those teams as you possibly can so that's sort of like the idea that you want to be rocking there as for the burst pretty strong two enemies for four thousand damage up to three times um pretty cool four thousand damage is nothing to scoff at and it's just very interesting to see how like how many times you'll be able to activate this per fight does it mean one time per fight or does it just mean one time throughout the entire of the actual three fights so that's six plus uta the next character is snake man now this is the guy that i'm using as my leader and the reason i'm doing that well for what you guys saw there is his leader skill boosts psi teammates hp and critical percent up and guard up level six and then he does dex teammates attack up speed up level three defense up level two as well as fighter class teammates attack speed up level three and defense up level two so if you have fighter size and dex fighters like they're obviously going to get the maximum boost out of this particular unit his gp bursts uh, as long as you have five teammates have been defeated at any point you can target one enemy with high defense for attack up level 15 attack times three counter stance for 30 seconds you can activate provoke and a thousand uh healing or a thousand per interval healing for 30 seconds so that one teammate will basically get like massive de like the one with the highest defense we're gonna massive attack up huge counter stance healing i think the idea here is it's just like tank damage and actually just reflect it back so pretty interesting burst um like i said we, we don't really know how these are going to work too much until we actually start playing around with them so, so just be mindful of that um but the leader skill like i said like, what i put together was just super fast because this was the one i remember off the top of my head Next, we've got my boy, Super Sugo Shanks. His Rumble or Grand Party Rumble stats are as followed. His leader skill boosts quick and int type teammates attack and speed up level 3. Because uh, crit percent level 6. Cerebral teammates get attack up, a HP up level 6 and defense up level 3. So, very interesting. Obviously, you have to build like a quick cerebral team and a quick int team to get this guy to really work. Which doesn't have too much support right now, but look, in the future, definitely might. His burst targets quick and int type teammates for attack up level 10 for 30 seconds, speed up level 10, defense up level 10, and targets three enemies with low current HP for 100% chance to paralyze. So uh, you can use that twice. That's a lot of stats on quick and int units. And obviously, if you are using this guy as a leader, your three teams want to be centric around quick and int. Next, we've got regular six star Uta. Uh, most people would have this Uta over top musical, I would assume. Her leader is basically the same from what I can see, except she does cerebral class teammates, attack, HP, guard up level six. And if you guys were sort of building teams, ideally you'd want to bring sign in characters as well as cerebrals. She targets team for paralysis reduction for 30 seconds, special bind reduction for 30 seconds, targets all enemies for 60% chance for action blind, and targets two cerebral class teammates for 100% cooldown reduction. So uh, two times you can use this, um, pretty interesting. And the whole idea is, like, with these is obviously you can choose when to pop these. So, um, obviously, if you're paralyzed, um, if you're special blinded, like, this is when you just, like, pop this Uta and you just got to kind of get around that, which is super, super nice. 
Next, we've got Super Tandem Luffy as a leader. He is going to... So he does Dex and Sight too. So he might be actually better as our leader. We might flip him around. We'll see how we go. But he does Dex type, teammates, CT speed, and defense up level 2. Miss percent down level 6. Psy teammates, speed, HP, and attack up level 3. And fighter class teammates, attack, HP up level 6, and defense up level 3. So pretty interesting stuff. He's burst. Targets one enemy with high current special CT for leader base attack times 5 damage. Okay, so whatever the lead, like his base attack is times five, and he targets two Dex and Sight teammates for 100% cooldown reduction. So that's pretty cool, and you can use that twice. So that's super super interesting. Next, we've got Yamato and Ace. Yamato and Ace are built around Free Spirit, so super interesting to see what they do. Strength Index teammates attack HP speed level six. Striker class teammates defense cooldown level three and then blow away percent up level seven so they're actually built around strikers which is super super interesting after dealing blow away six times okay i forgot about these effects by the way after dealing blow away six times you can target two enemies for 2500 damage up to two times and targets team for ct speed up levels five and you can use that twice so not exactly the greatest there um they were always pretty wonky obviously you have to use them on a team as well so that's kind of whatever Plus, remember, like, dual units, they don't have typings, so they just don't benefit from their own leader skills, so that's kind of whatever. Luffy, to get his, by the way, his burst, you just have to receive damage 20 times. That's actually pretty easy to get. Uh, that one, Luffy, was just to lose characters five times. Uh, Shanks, what was Shanks? Is, um, uh, 15 normal attacks. So the Shanks is just super easy to get. Obviously, this is going to play into a part as well, like, being able to get this. When you use a rumble special eight times okay that's super interesting like i said it'll be super in interesting to see if we can use these like every single fight or if it's just once per grand like uh once per uh, grand party you know because like utilizing a special eight times there's going to be a good chance where you like you don't even pop eight specials in a run right like like you get towards the back end and you might um so that's super interesting Next, we've got Kaido, and his uh, leader is just built around strength and ints, and then obviously powerhouse as well. That's pretty interesting. Strength, teammates, defense up level 3, attack and speed up level 6. Ints type, teammates, attack, speed, guard percent up level 3. Powerhouse class, teammates, HP up level 6, attack and recovery up level 3. He's burst after 9 full attacks, so that's a different type of attack. For 2 times, you can target 2 enemies with high current HP for 6,000 damage. Wow, that's a lot of damage. Targets powerhouse class teammates for attack up level 10 for 30 seconds. Again, you have to hit like nine full attacks. So, bit of an interesting one there with Kaido. Uh, next, we've got the waifu units. They are going to target strength and quick units for HP, speed, attack level 6. Striker class teammates attack HP level 3 and defense up level 2. And their burst after receiving status effects 6 times. Dex and quick type teammates. Okay, that's a little bit annoying because that way you have to build strength, Dex and quick. For 100% chance of action blind, it targets two enemies with current low CT for leader base attack times three damage. So, not exactly the greatest there with the waifus. I don't rate them too highly in Rumble like everyone else does, but it is what it is. Next, we've got the Straw Hat crew. Um, again, they're pretty wonky because like they're built around strength and strength and Dex, but obviously they aren't strength and strength or Dex because they're a dual unit. Strength Dex, Quick Type Teammates, Attack, HP, Speed, Level 5, Free Spirit Class Teammates, Attack, Recovery, Speed Up, Level 4. So that, that's actually really good that they have three colors, because then you can build like three colored teams, and you can use these guys as your captains, and then just try and chuck as many Free Spirit characters on there, all the teams as possible. Like obviously Strength, you can make some really cool Free Spirit teams. Dex you can, and Quick I'm sure you probably could slide in some as well, like stuff like Brook and whatnot. Um, the Burst, after 10 Power Attacks... Targets team for attack up level 6. Target strength, dex, quick type teammates for 80% chance of haste. The haste is pretty nice. It is 80%, but like, that's actually pretty nice because you can activate that at any time, right? So you have all your specials ready and your enemy's just going to absolutely barrage you. You could just pop this and like, just go first. That, that's actually pretty crazy. Next, we've got Whitebeard and Roger. Their leader skill is for sign int teammates, HP, speed, and attack level 3. Striker teammates attack HP level 6. And then they do slashes for attack and speed level 5. Also, strikers get defense up level 3. So, interesting that they do two colors and then two classes. That's actually pretty nice. Targets all enemies for 40% uh, reduction. Targets side int type teammates for attack up level 10 for 20 seconds. And then speed up level 10, defense up level 10 
for Scient Ints. And you can use this twice as long as you've received damage 35 times. So pretty interesting stuff. Now these like activations are telling me that like it's just you just it goes across the board because taking damage 35 times like that's a lot of damage. Like, everyone has everyone would have to hit in the main line seven times, which like would take a very very long time. Next we've got Odin, Mr. Six Plus Odin. He's getting a buff obviously with the new uh, legend actually that's coming out too. Uh, strength type teammates attack HP crit up level six, miss down level six. Slasher teammates attack HP speed level six and defense up level three. So he's just like kind of one of the more basic ones because it's just strength and slashes, which makes it a little bit harder to build for because you have to build three teams. Um, targets all enemies for 3,500 damage. Target slasher teammates attack up level ten. So very intricate. Uh, you have to deal 10 criticals as well. So, very intricate with Odin. I don't really recommend Odin too much. Um, I wouldn't really be using him. Next, we've got Yamato. Yamato is going to be a Psy and Quick Booster. Psy teammates attack HP and miss down level 6. Sorry, attack and HP level 5, miss down level 6. Quick, speed, HP, attack level 4. Striker teammates attack, cooldown, defense up level 2. Then her burst after healing 15 times targets three enemies for leader base attack times five and then targets quick and side type teammates for recovery and four times healing this is actually pretty good because um like kuzan just like rings a bell in my head and then obviously you can use her as your leader and then strikers she does a lot of good striker quick units as well as uh, quick strikers so side strikers as well um so she's actually a pretty good leader interesting burst ability next we've got six star yamato she is going to burst Int and Quick, very similar to what Yamato does, as well as doing Driven. Int, attack HP level 5, miss down level 6. Quick, tight teammates, speed HP, attack level 4. Driven, teammates, attack, cooldown, defense up level 2. A burst after healing 15 times, targets 3 enemies for leader base, attack times 5. Targeting Quick and Int type teammates for recovery times 4 for healing. That's actually pretty interesting. I don't think she's as good as Yamato 6+, plus, but look, we move. Next, we've got Luffy... The award-winning Captain Luffy. His looter skill is for quick and strength. Quick, speed, HP, guard, level 6. Strength, attack, crit, level 5. Defense, level 3. And then free spirit teammates, attack, defense, speed, level 3. It's not actually too bad. Not actually too bad. Quick and strength. Then you have to sort of slide in a bunch of free spirit characters. Quick doesn't have too many free spirits. That's the, that's the big problem. Like Luffy and Brook are the only ones that I can really think of. Maybe Boa off the top of my head. Next, you got his burst. When six enemies are defeated, targets team for attack up level seven, targets four enemies for leader base attack times four, targets two teammates with high attack for 100% chance of haste. Now, the 100% chance of haste, that's good. That's really, really good. Um, it's two random teammates, unfortunately, but the fact that you can just sort of pop this whenever you've defeated six enemies, and obviously, like, you can use this two times, right? So, like, if that carries over and you just save this to the final fight, um, and you win the second fight and you just you can pop this twice and just get this haste ability to pop off Like that is actually really really strong really really good. He's leader though much to be desired, but his GP burst is very very good Who's next we've got law lorry boy lorry lolly lolly um, His leader skill is for decks and quick speed HP crit up level 6 for decks guard attack level 5 and defense level 3 for quick and then cerebral class teammates attack defense speed up level 3 he's burst after dealing 8 crits targets 3 dex type teammates for attack times 2 counter stands for 20 second, 9 seconds targets 3 enemies for leader base skill leader base attack times 3 damage so he's fairly interesting cerebrals with dex and quick aren't a big plethora of units so I probably would steer away from that stuff like free spirits stuff like like fighters, stuff like um, slashes. Cerebrals aren't too bad, actually. Now I'm thinking about it. But like driven powerhouse. Those are the characters you like. You really want boosted because they're going to be popping up on a lot of teams. Next, we've got Kid. Kid is going to be a strength and dex booster. Strength, speed, HP, guard up level six. Dex, attack, defense, crit level three. Driven teammates, attack, speed level four, and defense up level three. After guarding 10 times, his burst will target three enemies ignoring defense for a leader base attack of 2.2. That's really good. Targets strength type teammates for defense up level 5. That's actually a really good burst. Like, that's a really, really good burst. Targeting three enemies that ignore defense for 2.2 of his attack, like leader base attack. 
very, very good. I'm not 100% sure how the leader base attack works, but like he is the leader. So I just imagine whatever his attack is, right? Oh, wait, no. So the leader would be the leader of... No, no, no. Yes, he's the leader. So yeah, cool. Um, yeah, he's good. He's really good. The downside is driven don't pop up too much, but like you could make a driven team. And um, like if you're running quick, there's a lot of good driven characters on quick. Next, we've got Roger. His GP stats as a leader. He boosts Psy, teammates attack HP up level 6, CT level 3, slasher teammates attack defense level 3, speed and guard percent up level 6. That's really good. That's actually really, really good. The downside is, is it's just Psy. And then obviously he boosts slashes. So you'd have to build out like a whole bunch of Psy teams. But like that's really good. His burst after reaching 55,000 damage. He targets all enemies for 2,500 damage, 100% chance to halve stats for 20 seconds. What? Bro, this guy's, this guy's the best leader. 100% chance to halve stats for 20 seconds, targeting all enemies. What? Holy shit. That is so good. Like, that's the best burst in the game. 100% chance to halve stats. For all enemies. If this hits all enemies. Bruh, that's game. And you can use this twice. <laughs> Holy shit, Roger is good. Roger making a comeback. Holy moly. Next, we got Kaido. Now, this one's interesting because I don't know why Kaido's even here. Dex and Int. Dex, defense up level 2, attack speed up level 4. Int, attack speed level 3, and guard level 2. Powerhouse class, teammates, HP, attack, recovery level 4. He's burst when you use 6 rumble specials. Uh, he's going to target two enemies with low current HP for, 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 for HP 40% damage, 40% reduction. So just like a 40% HP cut. And targets Dex and Int teammates for blow away percent up level 10. Okay. He's kind of, he's kind of whatever. And then finally, we've got Luffy and Law. Luffy and Law is going to target Dex and quick teammates attack HP recovery level 4. Fighter and slasher teammates attack defense up level 2 and crit up level 3. Remember, dual units, they don't get buffed from this, like, color meta stuff. So, which is the biggest downside to a dual unit, really. In Rumble, anyway. When you use a Rumble special six times, you target one enemy for high attack for 5,000 damage. Targets one enemy with high current HP for leader base attack times five damage. Okay. So, he's okay. But, look, the standout for me was definitely Roger. Um, his, like, ability or his leader is a bit how you going because, like, like, don't get me wrong, like, slashes are everywhere, right? Like, you, you can build, a, like, a strength slash team. You can bring a, build, like, a bunch of side slashes. You could just build the regular slasher team, per se, and then run Roger as your leader. Uh, and that will work absolutely hunky-dory, which is honestly probably what I'm actually going to do. I might actually quickly, quickly put that together at the end for you guys as well. Um, and, like, this is going to work, like, so ridiculously well. Like, so ridiculously well. Um... But his burst, if this is a 100% chance to halve all stats, absolutely wild. Like, absolutely wild. You get, like, Whitebeard and Roger popping off on 100% half stats. Like, that is crazy town. The other notable characters that I read, um, this Luffy, I think, is pretty good. Uh, like I said, we'll have to wait and see once the event comes out. But this Luffy has some pretty good synergy. This Luffy's got some pretty good synergy um, because he does. they do fighters. There's a lot of good Pyro Rumble fighter characters. Kaido, Kaido stood out to me. He was very, very good with his abilities um, because he does strength and int, both very, very good, as well as doing powerhouse. Int has a lot of very good powerhouse units. Strength has a lot of very good powerhouse units. Uh, and the other one was uh, Whitebeard and Roger. Whitebeard and Roger seem to have a pretty good one as well. Um, their burst was pretty strong uh, for the 40% damage reduction. Sorry, the 40% HP cut. Um, their leader was pretty good because they do slashes. But let me know your thoughts and opinions on these characters um, down below. Who do you think is good? Who do you think is not good? Um, if you have any insight, please don't be afraid to drop it down there too. All right, so I was sort of throwing some stuff together and like this is what I sort of came up with. Obviously, that side team at the top is like the one that is the most stacked. And trying to get full synergy with like your leader and your all your teams is going to be very, very challenging. But as much as you possibly can is going to help out. Obviously, Roger, he boosts Psy. As well as then sort of doing a whole bunch of stuff for slashes. So all of these characters are pretty much either slasher or free spirit. Or they have some sort of side tag on them as well. Um, so yeah, it, also gonna, it all should work out pretty hunky-dory with this particular setup. Otherwise, as, as you guys saw before, I think I had this sort of setup going as well. So the idea really is to get your leader to boost as many characters on all three of your teams as possible. As for their burst, it's still unclear. 
how the burst will actually work but i do imagine you'll get it two times over like however many fights you have or you have to select when you can use it like once i don't think it'll be during the fights um like you get like two two and two um like after you get those effects but hey look it might be and if you guys have any information on that please let me know in the comment section below but if you guys enjoyed this video if it helped you guys out in any way if you guys are pumped for grand party make sure to go down there and belt the like button for me if you're new to the channel and you haven't done so already hit that big red subscribe button most importantly though wherever you guys are in this beautiful world please remember to enjoy the rest of your day as always homies i thank you for watching and i'll catch you all in the next one later